Hi guys. So today I would like to revisit our discussion on uh, binomial models. So if you remember when we were discussing uh, the binomial model, we basically had a stock price whose value at time zero was S0. Then we tossed the coin and if the result of the coin toss was a head, the stock would go up by a factor U and it would become U of S0. And if we toss the tail, it would actually go down by a factor D and the stock value would become D of S0. And this process was, would continue. So every time step we would toss a coin and if we got a head, the stock would jump up by a factor U. And if we got a tail, stock would go down by a factor D, right? So what I would like to do in, in, in this particular lecture is figure out the distribution of stock at a particular point in time, okay? as we make these time steps smaller and smaller and smaller, okay? So what I want to do is I want to figure out the distribution of stock at time t, okay? And in this model, we're going to take, the stock would take n steps per unit time, okay? So this is what I want to actually find out in this lecture, the distribution of our stock at time t. And the way we're going to do it is, again, we're going to assume that we're going to choose n, which is a, an integer. And we're going to choose n and t in such a way that nt is an integer. Okay? n basically is the number of steps the stock is going to take per unit time. Okay? So, f if we are looking at the value of the stock at time t, okay, and if there are n steps per unit time, then total number of steps would be nt, okay, at time t. Because n is the number of steps per unit time, so if we basically want to look at the value of the stock at time t, there would be total of nt number of steps, time steps, <coughs> okay. And what we're going to do is, in this particular model, the, the, the discussion that we're going to do, we're going to right now assume that interest rate is equal to zero, okay. And the same discussion can actually be done when interest rate is not equal to zero. Okay, but this discussion is going to be when interest rate is equal to zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose an up factor such that this is equal to 1 plus sigma by square root of n. So n is the same integer, okay, and sigma is some positive number. Okay. And we're going to choose a down factor, which is going to be given by 1 minus sigma by square root of n. Okay? So, u is a up factor, d is a down factor, and sigma basically is some positive number, n is basically the number of time steps per unit time. Now, I want to look at what is the value of stock at time t. Okay? Value of stock at time t. Before I do that, if you know, as we discussed, at time t, there would be nt number of steps. So, you know, we would have tossed, and every step, we would basically have tossed the coin. So, by the time we reach time t, we would have tossed the coin nt number of times. Okay? So, there are nt number of time steps, and at every time step, we toss a coin. So, total number of coin tosses at time t would be equal to nt as well. And... Let's denote the number of heads that we get in nt number of coin tosses as h of nt. Okay.